My name is Matthew Schnur. I'm an associate professor in the Department of International Development Studies here at Dalhousie University. I've been using simulation-based learning uh, in my classes for about 10 years. Most of my teaching is around global environmental issues, so climate change, biodiversity loss, uh, hunger and famine. And what I noticed when I started teaching was that a lot of my classes would end in sort of consensus. Students would talk about the need for more inclusiveness, more participation, more community-based development. And the difficulty about those kinds of words is that they sound great in theory, but in practice, they mean very different things to different people. So the reason that I gravitated towards simulation-based learning is it offered students an opportunity to speak about these issues in the first person, immerse themselves in role-play characters, and really complicate um, the process of coming to consensus about these very uh, political and very difficult to solve global issues. So this simulation takes place within INTD 2001, which is uh, Introduction to International Development Studies. So this is the entry point for all students who want to study uh, in IDS. And the simulation takes place over the final three weeks of the class as students get together in groups to represent a specific uh, stakeholder. So this would be a nation state or a multilateral organization or an NGO and they debate in the first person one of four goals within the new Sustainable Development Goals. The Sustainable Development Goals are the new global development goals designed to end poverty, alleviate hunger, achieve gender equality. So students get together in groups of five to seven and they propose specific indicators, so quantifiable, measurable targets that adhere to their particular bargaining positions and then they negotiate with each other both in person and online to try to achieve the minimum threshold needed such that on the final day when we have a vote they can adopt the language that reflects their particular position. I think the biggest part of the simulation was just the fact that it kind of puts the human component back into learning about politics and diplomacy because you can study uh, theory and formulate you know, great solutions using theory uh, for international politics, but I think what a lot of students don't realize is the, you know, the more subtle barriers in the way of the actual change makers of the world, and it, it sort of brings that to light when you have to actually deal with other people and work and compromise in a situation more resembling real life. I really like that it, it got us to actively think about how we would act if we were in these types of situations. So, you know, you, you have to build and develop your uh, communication skills, your cooperation, and you really have to put yourself into the mindset of, if I had this job, you know, what would I be doing? And uh, I think it, it preps people well for actual work environments and it, it gets them thinking about what kind of careers they can explore in their program. I believe from this class that you actually really got the ability to communicate well. Uh, you got the ability to understand where other people come from. You also got a new perspective in terms of how the world works and how negotiations work. 